Hello and welcome to Taco Town. It's me, Leo, aka a Papa Taco. Today we're doing the arena open day one. How it works is we're doing sealed uh, murders at Karlov Manor. If we can get the trophy, seven wins before three losses, we qualify for day two. Day two is two drafts, and if you can get a certain number of wins across those two drafts, you can win cash money up to two thousand dollars. So we're gonna jump in. And uh, see what we get. Oh, I like the uh, that sleeve. This is a good card for just dealing damage to face. Mm, that's probably the best card. This card's solid, but it's, uh, you know, triple green pip. Can't splash it. We have two elegant parlors, which is interesting. Means we could have good mana. Throw in a lamplight phoenix. All right. I see a novice inspector. That's nice. I see a makeshift binding. That's nice. This card is okay. This could be good to bring back the um, the rare if we are playing that red rare. Make it a 3-2 flyer. Cards with the word investigator. Nice. Can't have too many combat tricks, but you know. This one's a bit sketchy, especially if we're <laughs> not drafting around it. I mean, with these two, we could splash red because it looks like our red is very thin. I don't know if we want to just play this. Maybe if we're playing a lot of disguised creatures, it could be worth it. Because uh, we're not going to have enough playables. We have shocks. But then we're just kind of playing junkers if we're throwing everything in there. Honestly, the white's pretty thin too. Alright, this is going to be a tough one. Let's just throw in all the good cards, I guess, and then we'll make a lot of cuts. Mm. I don't know. Well, maybe we have to play three colors, and then we can with Nervous Gardener. Maybe we're red, white, green, Jund? Is that Jund? This guy's less good when you're splashing because it's uh, stronger based on the number of forests, but it's another card we could play to deal damage to face with Pyrotechnic Performer. So maybe that's what we're looking to do. These cards we could play just as green cards, or this is also green-white. Good tricks, like we could make an aggressive deck. Because we've got good tricks. It's just awkward that we're trying to make a three-color aggressive deck. Could work, though, with three gardeners and some dual lands. Let's see also our colorless stuff. Um, this also helps us fix, but you're tapping creatures, so... It's counterintuitive in an aggressive deck. You can be kind of mid-range, like beat down early and then hope to kill them with the big guys late or just flipping things while, while we have a pyrotechnic performer. This guy can let us fix too. All right. That might be the plan. Feels like every color's thin. <laughs> every color seems to have very few cards. Okay. Yeah, we'll be white, red, green. We can throw in that phantom. Another disguised creature in our colors. We don't need an island. I'll fix our mana. We can play this just as a disguised creature, three green green. We don't have to play this card. But, you know, I'm looking for playables. This 
this we won't play. It's too uh, clunky when we're splashing, obviously. How many creatures do we have? 17? Okay, maybe we can play some fanatical strengths. <laughs> and then this guy doesn't have trample. This guy doesn't have trample. This guy doesn't have trample, but they can get quite large. Call a surprise witness. Who's that hitting? It's three mana or less? So it brings back the Phoenix case it didn't bring itself back pyrotechnic performer honestly this card doesn't seem that good these guys coming in as 2-2 flyers isn't amazing this guy could be pretty good but not like even that great we're not gonna have a ton of artifacts we make a clue with this but that's about it don't make a clue here I don't know if we should play Call a Surprise Witness basically just for the Pyrotechnic Performer. I think just another creature would be better. And what's a creature we could bring? White, red, green. Kind of a creature. Not too excited about the creatures. Could bring in this guy. This is another disguise, but kind of subpar. The Rubble Belt Maverick. And then, oh, you know what? I think we're playing 17 lands. Probably just, or 16 lands. Just need to throw in another land. Yeah. 11, 7, 6. But yeah, just another forest. Forest is our fixing color with the gardeners, so that's our most important color. All right. Don't know if this is the deck, <laughs> but I'll give it a shot. Arena open. Day one. March 2024. Definitely not a streamlined two-color deck. Oh, is this the real Dr. Drew, our opponent? Dr. Drew from Loveline? Hmm. Double Nervous Gardener makes me want to play the first one just as the 2-2. Two -two. Especially since we're good on colors. I'm gonna not block. We've got um things that get better with more creatures, combat tricks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then who do we want to play first? You, because you're gonna be ready to go. Okay. Hmm. We flip this, we could get a land, we could makeshift binding something. Not really necessary to makeshift binding something. Guess we get a land and disguise something. Hopefully makeshift binding lets us race.
We'll go green because crowd control and undercover crocodile both need green, and then we also have the elegant parlor to get double for the other colors. This guy's on five, this guy's on five. Investigates pretty good. This guy would be a six six. Oh no. <laughs> okay. It's all right. At least we have a answer for that. So let's see. We're taking four, six, eight, ten. I guess we will block. Nah, this guy can have the mana really too. Uh, we'll leave the nervous gardeners back. Four, six, eight, ten. Makeshift binding. Tell a friend. Okay, and that guy can block too. Okay. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. Untap land would be nice. I'll take a inspector, I think. Or should we just bottom it to look for? I guess inspector blocks bystander well, draw a card. Maybe hit a land drop. We could do inspector, strider, draw a card next turn. I'm going to block with that one. Hmm. A lot of power. Double block the 4-4. Four, four. Oh, shoot. Okay. Just put out a lot of blockers. We need to, obviously. We're then on board. Hopefully it's enough to survive another turn. Any removal and we're dead. Got a double block. Boop, boop. Trade. Chomp. Okay, we have six mana. This guy's a five five. Five five isn't terrible. They ever top a shock game over. Okay, haven't lost yet. Three, six, five, six, seven. Chump with this. Let's see what, what's on top. No. I mean, could draw it. Block. But if they've got any interaction, kind of in trouble.
Yeah. If we saved that, we would have lost. Okay. Yeah, that's game over. Not sure where I went wrong there. We can work with this. Cool. So far, the colors haven't been a problem. does not have haste. I go with Crocodile for this turn, next turn, Tin Street, Gossip. I mean, I guess we could just use this to cast the Crocodile for cheaper. We'll go, we'll go with the Phoenix. Just try to put some pressure on them in the air. If it dies, it dies. Opponent's playing two colors, it seems. So with this, it's basically six mana we have, so we could disguise both of those creatures. They don't kill the gossip. Okay, that blocks Phoenix. Oh, they have a swamp now. Okay, three colors. <laughs> I guess they have the swamp in the hand. I'm curious if they block, double block the Goss. I'm going to send the Goss. Nah, we're not going to send it. Another forest, three, four, five, six. Could be useful, but we'll find more lands. All right, here's hoping no sweepers. When you cast instant or sorcery, spell gains death touch or life link. Or death touch and life link. Alright. We've got options here. Regardless of how they block. Just want to make sure we don't tap our white mana. This is five. One, two. Okay. Oop.
This will deal two to me when I eat my clue. Not a big deal right now. And we have a lot of combat tricks. Let's go look for one. Right, we're going to be aggressive here. They're going to be drawing a lot of cards. We have green green with this, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're drawing so many cards, we gotta end this quick, if we can. We have two of, I believe, with a plus three, plus three trample. If we'd get one of those, that'd be good. What keywords do you get? Vigilance. That doesn't matter right now. That matters more. Okay. We got a shock to the face. We got a flyer. A disguised flyer. Is it five to flip it? Yeah, so we can flip it. Then hopefully just kill them in the air next turn. We could probably attack and then shock the Ma Maliva, but we're going to go for the wind in the air excuse me oh so this would be not enough oh no it would be exactly enough seven no that's six no that's yeah six not seven <laughs> shoot gonna be one damage short this turn Oh, and also got lifelink. Double lifelink? Yeah, so <laughs> that, was, that was a lot more life gain than I was anticipating because of the Judith. Okay. If binding help. Gain tax proof. Ooh. Maybe a automaton just to look for something useful here. Nope. I mean, it does count as a clue, but. All right. And now they're dead on board. Well, not on board. On board slash in hand. If they don't cast another. Incinor sorcery that kills our phantom slash gains them life. Okay, that's fine. Okay with just taking three damage, I believe.
Good. All right. They let it through, which means they probably don't have removal. Cool. I'll take it. And we have all of our colors. Not the best cards in the world, but we're going to definitely keep it. We have all of our colors and fixing. More fixing. Good news is they're not playing it to create more. We'll just shock it now. Now that that's no longer suspected, we can easily block it with our Strider. Honestly, I might just go with Inspector here to draw a card. Phoenix or Aggro. All right, we'll do that. We can draw a card on our turn if we miss Land Drop. We have Arrival. Maybe keep Arrival up. Maybe, maybe not. Mm, another Forest. Nah. Look for some action. So, like, keeping Arrival up protects us from the 4 damage and 3 damage removal spells. Which they didn't have last turn, but they could draw. Eh, you know what? Hey, I'm going to keep a rival up. And then that would put more evidence in the yard to get a little closer. Now we got a big boy. Could double block it. Looks like they're flooding a little bit. We will offer the double block here. If they blow us out with some sort of trick, at least we filled our yard for the Phoenix. Surveil before we draw. Big guy. Six mana. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. And kind of make ourselves get there with this. And then keep moving forward. Oh, part of the mana doesn't matter because we have the... Oh, you know what, though? If we draw the land, now we would... Uh... Remove that.
take three. Or double block. This makes another two, two. We'll just take three. Blues. To destroy to do the flame tongue thing. Crack a clue. See what we do. Alright. We will uh, get land and then we will play a disguise creature. Yeah, they're getting a lot of lands. Up here. Whenever you sacrifice an artifact, put a counter on a magnetic snuffler. Burn. I'm going to send all of these folk. Go for lethal. Okie dokie. I haven't seen our rare. That rare will win games if we can, uh, we're in like a, what's it called? Uh, board state where everything's locked up. Okay, we're fine on mana here. Because we got a lot of high power disguise creatures that the pyrotechnic, whatever, whatever, will just blow up their faces. Enters the battlefield. Hmm. I think I will just play it as a 2 2 here. Use our mana, and then we'll have it as a creature we can tap for fixing. No, I get shocked. That's fine. I'll take the two. Hey, a twin. We're going to have a twin board state here. I wonder if I should just shock that, though, while I have the chance, and then we can tap our guy to play the inspector. What do we find? Oh, it was Gardner. Hopefully they were fixing. I guess, yeah, we are pretty twinny, huh? Nervous Gardener, shock. Nervous Gardener, shock. Good flip. Start hitting them. We'll just build our board here. And 
And I gotta remember this can be a clue. Yeah. Uh, crack. Blue. We would be able to do that, but we can send our eavesdropper, see what we draw. Hmm. Other land. <laughs> I mean, we might just crack the land here. Because we don't need to crack the land, because we have another clue in hand. Or, well, on board, I should say. I mean, we can just crack it now. Maybe we'll draw a two drop. Or trick or something that we could use in defense. Or, we, yeah, we could just crack the land, draw another card. I think that is what we'll do. Three counters. All right, so it, it will trade with our flyer. Jump here, let's see what we get. More land, too much land. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ten lands. Eleven lands. Alright. All right, all right. Another land off of that one. We'll get one of the surveil lands. We can bottom a land. They have trick, so be it. All right, cool. Not so bad. Not so bad. Uh... <laughs> what the fudge? Come on. <laughs> Land on top? Yeah, cool. All right, well, I mean, we don't really have a chance if that's what we're being dealt, huh? Seven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen lands. I know one of them we got with the dryad. But now we only have three lands in our bottom twenty. So that's pretty good. Our opponent drawing a million cards is probably fine, right? Maybe they'll deck themselves. Like the opponent is also flooding? How can they be flooding when they have all those cards? <laughs> what the hell? Two lands left. The next 18. So very low chances of drawing more lands. Oh, wow. Does our opponent have like seven lands in hand? Is that what this is? All right, maybe they will deck. Maybe their deck is 40 lands or something. Uh oh, that's not a lot. This is destroys non-token. So even if we play this, then we just lose our creature. <sighs> oh, may sacrifice. May sacrifice. May sacrifice. May sacrifice. <laughs> may, 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 may. Fight spell.
This guy does not have reach. We have five five. Do they have a shock? If we had shock, we could have used it last turn against our flyer. All right. Don't think we're gonna survive till they deck, but you know, let's let's not give up. Uh, we're not dead on board yet. My math is correct. Oh, we are dead on board, aren't we? Because these both have five toughness. This has trample. This does a damage. But maybe they won't send all. Uh, yeah. Instead of uh, 16 lands, we needed one removal spell for Rakdos. That would have helped. I know there's only one of those in the deck, though. And I'm exaggerating. I only drew 15 lands. All right, we have all our colors again. Oh, first time seeing you. Okay, Rakdos colors. I might not survive too long. Oh. Interesting. I'll just play the, the gossip here. Could have shocked the face down card, but wanna get our gossip going. Okay, this is cool. Easy peasy. Um We can send both. We've got fanatical strength. We fanatical strength and then flip it. That'll be a lot of damage to face. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> and now we're a couple shocks away from victory. I mean, not exactly, but you know. We're close to being a couple of shocks away from victory. Any disguised creature will pretty much end the game. Oh, oh Coolio. Wish we had seen this via Shino more often. No white, but we've got a gardener. Okay. Got plenty of early plays now. Feels like sealed and NKM a lot of times requires you to play three colors. Um. I think I'm liking to surveil here. 
since the Strider can't block the Gorehound anyway. Another land. That's a clue. Tap land. Sure, we'll take it. We're going to need more lands. Gonna leave automaton back as a blocker. Would like to find a way to get rid of the sentry. We'll double block if they. Oh. Um, black, 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 black. What are the things that flip for just black? Oh man. <laughs> Google, save me. FKM disguise creatures. Da, 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 da. I got time. I got time. All right, we're on Scryfall. Mm, black, black. I got fixing black black. Uh, I don't see anything. I don't know. I'm blocking. <laughs> They're just using uh, removal after or death touch with a little death touch trick. What is this? Oh, black black. Yeah. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> Not on this list when I scryfold. The hell? Oh yeah, no, it is. I just didn't see it. That's on me. That's on me. Whoops. Should have blocked it with the automaton. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Idiot. That hybrid mana got me. All right, if we lose this game, we can look back to that moment. All right, let's get the goss going. Yeah, that was a total hunt on my part and the list of creatures open over here and everything okay looks like opponent is a little low on gas though is uh the bright side if we do this as a disguise we wouldn't be able to flip it um you flip it in the future of course Yeah, we can do this and Loxodon. Yeah, let's just build the board. Oh, okay. That's not cool. All right, well, it was mostly just an expensive makeshift binding, so uh, I guess it could have been worse. I'm going to take it here. Don't need that. Raw. Probably should be 
sending our flyer before they make the sentry bigger. I would love it if they block. They could just trump with the Maverick for the counters. Should I be shocking their Gorehound? Maybe. We'll double block this here. Protect our life total. Mm, that's okay. And we'll shock that guy. Now that guy is going to be too big. No, we don't have our binding anymore either. Okay, that helps. We have enough to flip it and strength it. Yeah. Cool. Oh, just kill it and uh, move on. Crack our clue. Could have cracked, cracked it on our turn, I suppose. We crack the clue. Do we have enough mana? Three, four, five. We wouldn't have enough mana to flip here. <clears throat> Big sentry. Let's crack it anyway. Oh no, it, you can tap it itself. Okay. Cool. Okay. Bit of a telegraph here, but <laughs> maybe I, I forgot they had reach. All right, looks like uh, tables are turning in our favor. Barring sweepers. Haven't seen this guy. I guess that's a reason to hold on to extra lands. Oh, we can make clues off of this. Whatever connects. I guess if it's connecting, they're dying, though, pretty quickly. Is this going to be a big green guy? No. They got a flyer. They didn't want to block, though. I guess they were worried about uh, potential combat tricks. Or they just want to race. Yeah, that Gorehound's giving them a lot of value. They did choose to keep a card. Keep a card, keep a card. Keep a keep a keep a keep a card. I'm going to crack the clue here. Okay. That. Will they jump? Feels like they should jump. Could have sent the automaton too, huh? Probably should have.
can start eating our uh, <laughs> our small creatures with the detective. I be blocking the stalker. <laughs> I'm not making a huge mistake here. Oh no, another big guy. Not good. Good. Oh, auspicious arrival. Oh, uh, how auspicious. All right. All right, we're being very aggressive here. We're going to discard one of our gardeners. Okay, okay. And then just drop the crowd control warden face up. Okay, land is good. I feel like every time I uh, record, it rains really hard. <laughs> I live in LA and rain is rare, but whenever I'm on here, I feel like there's heavy, heavy rain. Coincidence? Probably not. I probably control the climate around LA based on uh, one of God's Streamlabs recording. All right, we got fixing, fixing. Oh, yeah, tap line first. Of course, come on. Not punt right from turn one. Okay, should we pitch a mountain, or is that too greedy? Should we pitch the strider? Yeah, let's keep land. If we pitch this, though, we won't be able to play the inspector. So yeah, let's pitch a mountain. We'll be a little greedy here. Maybe the wrong choice, but at least now I can. Boop, boop. And boop. Happy with using all my mana. A little sketchy that I. Oh, I don't even know what a Trotta does. Face down creatures can be flipped for four mana. Oh, and then you can, like, if you have things cloaked, you can uh, cast non-creature spells. Okay. <clears throat> so we want to block her. Uh... Yeah, pitching land was a little bit sketchy. Yeah, we can send detective here again. And then just um, auspicious arrival it block with the Trotta trying to find a land here and then if they or we could yeah sacrifice the clue of course duh okay like it yeah this works works for me why do I have to tap why can't we just use did I already use that? Excuse me? What? <coughs> I feel like uh, I could have just used that, but... 
I, I, I didn't. <laughs> Hopefully tapping my novice inspector doesn't cause me to lose this game somehow. Oh man, the rain is so hard. <laughs> I turn off my, uh, my sound guard or whatever it's called, noise guard, noise gate. So you can hear this wild storm. Unbelievable. Hopefully we can keep 10 Street Gossip alive long enough to turn it into double spells. Okay. All right. I'm taking some damage in the air. We can flip the uh this guy and be a lot of damage. If we flip it while the Viashino is still alive. They're going wide. Very wide. All right, let's see. Just send the two two, flip it. The two. -two. I mean, if they don't block it, <laughs> they they probably just lose straight up. I think we still blow them out here. Yep. Pyrotechnic performer doing some heavy lifting. Can we just send all here? This is three to the face. They could have lifelink on the 2-2. Two -two. Okay, not lifelink. Aw, oh, bummer. <laughs> not ideal. That's also going to make this a little weaker. Uh, flip. Sweet. Okay, that definitely saved them there. We'll crack this on their turn so that the eavesdropper is lethal. They got some ETBs. We got another clue with our land as well. I'm going to crack it now because we might find a trample trick. But that's something. And this way, even if it dies, it comes back. So if they've got a sweeper that doesn't exile, I forget what the sweepers do. We would still have a 3-3 three, three in the air. Okay, we're getting close.
We did win that game where I punted, right? If I'm remembering correctly. When I <laughs> forgot. Or I didn't see the black black morph. I think we won that game. We lost one game when they had a bomb and we were flooding. With, we had Rakdos and we had 15 lands. Opponents only getting twice, so here's luck for us. Ah, come on, Lady Luck. my old-timey uh, voice. And we've been pretty lucky about finding our colors is the other thing we've been lucky about. Hey, hey. our good friend. Okay, I think here I will, hmm, I don't know what I want to put out first. This one is any color. I mean, at instant speed, there is a three damage removal spell. I'm going to go forest and throw out something expendable, kind of thinking that they have removal here yep that's exactly the card oh, i didn't want to play the phoenix okay oh it's a good top deck or four flyer worth killing i think so And they're low on cards because they mulligan so much. Okay, that's again we put out the expendable creatures. Because we have so few forests, this guy would have been like a two two. Well, three three. Now hopefully it's clear, and maybe they're out of removal, and even if they're not, it's not exile removal, we can just bring you back. More land, great. Leave our red up. I guess it didn't matter if we had Strider. Oh yeah, they're flooding. All right, we won one to flood, we lost one to flood. It all evens out. All right, this is for all the marbles. Well, not all the marbles. The marbles come into play more tomorrow in day two. This is to get the chance to play for the marbles. Okay, we're missing red, which it's pretty bad with this hand. We've got our best card, which of course we can play for more. This card, probably not seeing anytime soon. This card is good, but not going to be useful for a minute. We got our best removal spell. We're on the draw. I'm going to keep. Oh no. <laughs> Honestly, any land would have been good. More combat tricks, not quite what we Okay. Cool. All right, at least that's not a super aggressive card. It's a good card, but it's not like killing us super fast. 
Um, honestly, probably the Phoenix, just because red, red seems to be a million miles away. Still kind of rough. Oh boy. I mean, they're going to have something. Uh, I would imagine. Okay, okay. Keep our creature alive. I think they have a death touch trick. Or do they just have a removal spell they want to use? I'm going to just kill their 3-3. Three, three. It's a bit <laughs> weak sauce. But it helps in the, the race. And then once we have this up, we can leave our guy up to block and then tap it to, to shock. Oh, should have kept it. Oh, they could have destroyed my scene of the crime. Man. Yeah, probably should have kept makeshift binding for the buzz crusher. All right, I'm going to block. We got shock in response. Fizzles out their investigation. Man. Complete lack of uh, plans here is a bit rough. I mean, we can send and we can strength. And then drop the automaton. We could send both. Double strength. Tap one of our creatures to play Reckless Detective, which is a solid blocker. I guess we'll send one. Uh, you know what, actually, let's do automaton, because then we can tap automaton. In Street Gossip. We can play it. Is that what we need right now? 4-4? Four, four. I guess it'll help us flip all our guys. And if we can start flipping all our guys and start doing damage to their face. Gotta remember that if we crack clues, they do uh, blow us up a bit. How aggressive can we be? Double fanatical strength is nice. That's six damage. Flippin' is nice. I kind of prefer to just play 10 Street Gossip here. We could pitch <laughs> 10 Street Gossip for that. I don't know why we put it on top. That was the plan. Uh, if this is like a flyer, we're probably dead. Oh, right. Fanatical strength, fanatical strength to the face, right? Shoot, we need like one more mana. And then that's nine to the face. Okay. That's the play. Gossip gives us the mana. And the plan is fanatical strength, fanatical strength on the Viachino. 
die here. <clears throat> I'll have to block a bit. If they if they send quite aggressively. Okay. So far so good. So that's nine to face. Oh, they got a lot of cards. Hopefully they don't have enough mana to do anything too crazy. Oh, that's rough. I mean, we draw a land? Shoot, not that land. <laughs> I mean, it's also doing the trample damage. It's just they can't flip it. Okay. We can survive one more turn. Man, we really needed an untap land there. So I want to be able to double pump it and flip it. Man, if we die to a shock to the face here, I'm going to be so sad. Okay, lifelink is not what we want to see. Okay. Another shock. But we want, honestly, maybe just pitch the shock. Ah, they could blow us out, though, if they have removal for our Venusino. Well, not blow us out. I guess we <laughs> send all and see. Don't sacrifice our automaton. We know that. Yeah, if they have interaction for a Venus, you know, we're in trouble. Well, that's nine trample damage plus nine to the face. Uh, discard a card. No, they're not using their life linker. But here it has ward still. And then if it's like shock, we've got another fanatical strength. Three. gonna lower its damage is a problem though right minus i don't know if this is enough damage but we're going for it we're, we're gonna lose next turn oh we did it ah shit i fucked up i did it before the thing no oh well it would have only been three more damage so we would have lost anyways but i didn't fuck up that bad <laughs> We would have done three more damage to the face. They would have been down to one. Close. Them lowering our power was the problem. It also gave them plus one defense here. Yeah, I did mess up. It didn't cost us the game because they would have been at one life with that extra three damage to the face. But, uh... So, <laughs> if we if, if, if we would have won... Could have been extra sad, but yeah, I didn't order those, let those triggers resolve in the order that I should have. All right, well, this was a fun run. Probably post this on YouTube if you're seeing this. Obviously, I did, but I might try again. Um, so if you see another run, maybe that's the one where I got in. But either way, if you made it this far please consider uh, subscribing. I don't post too often, but I do post all my arena open runs. So far, we've won a total of, I think, 2,500. No, 3,000. We've won a total of $3,000 across all my arena open um, runs. This one was fun. 
We came up a damage short, four damage short because of my punt, but a damage short if we had played everything uh, optimally. And uh, yeah, it was fun. And as always, thank you all for watching. This has been a magical night.